I spent this past weekend watching the American Heroes Channel, AHC, and I watched some reruns of River Monsters on Animal Planet. I know he has a new show, but I've yet to watch it. But I wanted to watch anything which had nothing to do with anything royal. I have little or no time for the British monarchy, or any monarchy for that matter. I had no idea Harry the Spare was getting hitched. The heir and the Spare, can you imagine being put on this planet for the sole purpose of in case anything happens to your older brother? Then you're next in line to the throne. Yeah, back in the day, the younger brother would make sure something happened to the older brother. But the royal family does not interest me. The only reason I heard of the wedding was, as usual, The closer the day came, the more everybody talked about it. There are some things that are unavoidable, like Christmas and royal weddings. And a day or two before the wedding, they had all the journalists out there on location for the wedding. And they had one on TV. She was really giddy about it, being over there and witnessing the royal wedding. And I guess it's a big thing marrying this girl and letting her into the royal family. And this journalist brought up the Duke of Windsor and how he had to give up his throne for the love of a woman and how things have changed, which is bullshit. Oh, yes, the Duke of Windsor, it's a wonderful, endearing love story. But that's not why he was forced to advocate. That was and is to this day still played up as the reason. But the real reason was he was forced to advocate because he sided with the Nazis. He was a Nazi sympathizer. Not to mention he was a royal screw-up even before he fell in love. Even his father had no hope for him. It's a lost cause from the get-go. And we're talking about one screwed-up family. Dysfunctional is an understatement. What do you think about Charles? You think he would step aside for his son William to ascend to the throne? That's what a lot of people want to see. The way it looks, the Queen will outlive Keith Richards. Bad news for Charles and William. The only thing having anything to do with the royal family, which I might make time for, is Crown Royal, Canadian whiskey. And they introduced this particular blend in 1939 to commemorate the royal visit of King George VI, along with his wife, Queen Elizabeth. And speaking of whiskey, be it Crown Royal or Jack Daniels, I have not had a drop of whiskey now that I'm thinking about it. It's been a few years since I had a drop of whiskey. Wow. I've had bourbon on occasion, which is a whiskey using a corn-based recipe and is brewed in a certain region of America. Regular whiskey is made from a wheat-based recipe. And that's a real simple and quick way of explaining it without going into too much detail. I prefer whiskey over bourbon. My go-to brand is Jack Daniels. I do not like scotch whiskey. I had an uncle who used to drink scotch whiskey. That's all he drank. He'd have it on the rocks. Yeah, he was a wimp. Funny story. I have a friend. I've known this man forever. 30 plus years, and he's a beer drinker. But one day I came over his house and he had a bottle of Jack Daniels sitting on his coffee table. And I said, what's this? And he said he was trying something different other than his usual beverage. But he was mixing it with 7-Up. Yeah. I told him, I said, that's not how you drink whiskey. And I took a swig right from the bottle and he tried the same thing and coughed it right out his nose was hilarious. That was 20 plus years ago. He still hasn't lived it down. Every once in a while, he gives me no choice but to have to put that up in his face. I also like tequila. On occasion, I will have a tequila shot or two. I'm not a wine drinker. Wine gives me a headache. I don't like wine at all, not even to cook with. My grandfather, my father's dad, made wine in his basement back in the Bronx. And he was serious about it. He had quite the setup. At one time, I considered building a whiskey still. Did some reading on it. Even came across a couple of design plans. The only thing that stopped me 
was the possibility of the still turning into a rocket. Sometimes you have to do some critical thinking. Sometimes what sounds like a good idea really isn't. However, when it comes to the royal family, there's nothing to think about. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather walk through a burning house in a gasoline suit than sit through a royal wedding. Thanks for stopping by and for tuning in. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until we talk again, I want you all to be well and enjoy life.